Oh, greetings, Mr. Colazar's class. We're going to now look into video 18.3 with acids bases and we're looking at conjugate acid and base pairs. And our idea, our idea today is going to identify the conjugate acid base pairs. So, looking into our model from last time, Arrhenius, Bronsted, Lowry, and Lewis, our focus is going to be on the Bronsted Lowry reaction, the BL. And what we're going to look at is objects are uh, acids bases, acids that can donate hydrogen, and bases that can accept the hydrogen, and how we can pair them together in a reversible reaction. So, a little background before we get started um, with identifying what we're going to know is our acid base, conjugate acid, conjugate base pairs. And what we're going to look into is if we were to have a reaction NH4 with a plus, plus water produces NH3 and H2O, and notice this is a reversible reaction. It can go either way. So, if we have acid and a base, right away we're going to look at is if we were to look at NH4 over here and NH3 over here, NH4 is losing a hydrogen to become NH3, so it's going to be our acid. Water is going to gain that hydrogen ion to become the base. Now, in a reversible reaction, we can get this reaction to go back the opposite way. We're going to call this now the opposite side. Reverse reaction is possible because once we're over here, this water can donate its hydrogen back, and so it's going to become, since it's a hydrogen donor, it's going to become our conjugate acid. And since NH3 can accept a hydrogen, it's going to become what we call our conjugate base. So our acid becomes the conjugate base, and the base becomes the conjugate acid. So we're going to pair together to show our pairings, acid-base pairs, our pair nitrogen, NH4, or ammonia, NH4, and ammonia, NH3, are going to be paired together, showing that all that's different between them is that H plus, either being donated or received. And the other pair is going to be our base, H2O, and H2O3, our H3O plus. So all that's being different between those two is that H plus is either being donated or received, and we're going to pair them together with these lines showing that the conjugate acid and base are paired, and the base and conjugate acid are paired. Two substances related by either donating or accepting the hydrogens. And we've got this little note we're going to add in. Remember the ABCs. ABCs, no letter, are just the letters, no order. So it can be the acid and conjugate base are paired together from up above. ABCs, not in any order. Or our base and the conjugate acid are paired together. Again, we have our ABCs, they're just not in any order. So we're going to jump back to number eight in your notes to go through and label in any order our conjugate acid bases and remember our ABCs. So to begin with, number eight in your notes, hydrogen fluoride plus H2O is going to produce H3O and hydrogen fluoride. So we need to find out who's donating the hydrogen. In this case, hydrogen fluoride is going to donate that hydrogen. If it donates the hydrogen, it becomes the acid. If on the opposite side, hydrogen has been donated to the water to make H3O plus, H3O plus in the reversible reaction then could donate that hydrogen back and so it's going to be our conjugate acid. Now notice that HF and F minus are the same chemical just with a different hydrogen, either given or taken away. And H2O and H3O are the same chemical except for the donation or removal of that hydrogen ion. So our pairing together, our hydrogen fluoride is our acid. The fluoride ion has become our conjugate base. It can receive that hydrogen ion back to move back to the opposite side. And our H2O is our base. It receives the hydrogen ion. When it becomes H3O, it becomes the conjugate acid. It can donate that hydrogen back to become back to water in our reversible reaction. 
If you were to take and look at the charges, oh, let's talk about that in a second. Let's get through the second one. NH3 plus H2O produces NH4 and OH minus. In this case, water is donating a hydrogen ion, so it's our acid. NH3 is accepting a hydrogen ion, so it's our base. Now, once we get to the opposite side of the reaction, NH4 could donate a hydrogen back to water. So if it donates a hydrogen ion back, it becomes our conjugate acid. Hydrogen, our hydroxide can do, uh, accept that hydrogen to go back to the opposite side to become water again, and it would be our conjugate base. So our acid base, conjugate acid base pairs, B pairs with CA. So our ammonia gaining the hydrogen ion, and our water acid and conjugate base paired together to remember our ABCs. Now notice on this side no charge, no charge, so it's neutral. Plus one and a minus one gets us back to neutral. We'll always end up with the same charge on one side as the other. Now a couple things to keep in mind. What happens to the charge of an acid or a base? Acids go negative by one because they lose that hydrogen, become the conjugate base. Bases go positive by one, they gain the hydrogen ion to become the conjugate base. And then as we're looking, you can add a little bit more information here. Remember to include, when we look at the relationship between the conjugate acid and acid base pairs, the two substances related to each other by donating and accepting a hydrogen ion. And then remember our ABCs. Don't need the letters, or just need the letters, no order, so your, your acid and your conjugate base pair together and your base and your conjugate acid pair together.